Hey friends, it's time to work on my $4 auction win on this desk and make it my own. I'm actually going to keep this and I want it to match all of the furniture I already have in my bedroom, which is a light wood and black. And I ended up going to Lowe's because that's where I live. And then upon further inspection of this desk, I was a little bit sad because it is MDF particle board. Here it had dovetails that tricked me. I thought it was real wood and I was going to be able to sand it down to a lighter wood. But upon further inspection, the only real wood is pretty much this bottom frame and these legs. So let's take these legs off and get to work. I'm going to have to be a little creative to figure out how I'm going to make it lighter. But the dark part's easy. So I put her on wheels because she's heavy and we're going to take her out this door. We're going to sand her down so that I can go ahead and paint her. So she's scuff sanded and I'm going to prime the whole thing. And I have a huge fan back here to make it go faster. I got... I actually dropped this. Look, I dropped it and I ended up breaking one of the tracks. But if you look at this track, it was not the first time it's been broken. So we're going to use some wood filler and we're going to go ahead and fill this up. Now, I didn't use gloves. Don't follow my example. You should be using gloves. But uh, we're going to spread the peanut butter on here. And then we're going to add some regular hardener butter to it to make it into a compound that is super sticky. And I'll harden up so that we can go ahead and put the track back on. So we'll go ahead and put the peanut butter in the hole. So to smooth that in and then we will, in about 15 minutes, because this actually works really, really fast, we'll be able to sand this down and then re-put in the screw and the track. So here it is all primed. I did two coats of primer so that it would really stick. And then I got these out of my basement. They're old beach mats. I figured that's the light color we're going for. So I cut them out and glued them on with wood glue. And then I went and got $30 worth of pine trim at Lowe's. That's what I got when I went to Lowe's. And I'm going to outline all of that so you don't see the hard edges. I decided to go ahead and keep the same hardware because it was kind of a neat basic kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and put that black. I did think gold at first, but... I thought it was too light there. So we're going to go ahead and spray paint those black. I actually screwed them into a piece of, like this is an old piece of cardboard. Uh, that way we reduce, reuse, recycle. And it holds it in place so I can get all the sides. So here we go. They're all spray painted. I'm going to wait a day for that to dry. I went ahead and glued the little piece of of this mat because the mat frays when you cut it so I put wood glue on it to harden it and then drilled through it and then put the hardware on I sanded the legs down and here's the before and 